Ants in vegetable garden, good or bad? How do ants and aphids help each other? Hi all, I'm a first-time gardener and have a little 4x8 plot in the community garden, for my graduate student housing complex. My plants are thriving, growing really really fast, especially the zucchini, but I have a serious ant infestation. I've done some googling and it seems that it's most likely that the ants are pests, but I spent some time in the garden this morning watching them. At first, I thought, oh surely they're carrying aphids or white flies to my plants so they can harvest the milk, since I saw them carrying little white egg-like things, while they were walking around on the ground. Then, I turned over a tomato leaf on the plant, where they were swarming, and behind it there were hundreds of ants on the top of one leaf, along with lots and lots of little white things. I watched, and after about five minutes, the ants were gone, as were the white things. They had carried the white things away from the leaf. A week later, today, I noticed the same behavior on a bell pepper plant. They don't seem to hang out on these plants, just swarm and then leave. The zucchini plant, on the other hand, has loads of ants just hanging out, especially in and around the flowers. Reply, 90% of all insects are beneficial to your garden. So long, as your plants are healthy I wouldn't worry. Most ants are pollinators. If they become a problem, search the forums for safe control solutions such as water. There are plenty of existing threads on the topic. Reply, Kamea Papaya, they can be both good and bad. Like all other soil critters they recycle and clean up dead bugs and things that happen, but then they also have symbiotic relationships with mealy bugs, aphids and scale insects, so they can bring these bugs into your garden and infest the plants with these bugs, so you need to be on the lookout for that. Reply, I agree with Violet, never had any problems with them myself. While it's true they do farm aphids I found them to be very good farmers, when it comes to controlling the herd. Question, how do ants and aphids help each other? Ants and aphids share a well-documented relationship of mutualism. Ants feed on the sugary honey they were left behind by aphids. In exchange, the ants protect the aphids from predators and parasites. In fact, honey ants will go to unusual lengths to ensure the health of the aphids in their care. Aphids suck the sugar-rich fluids from their host plants. Because these liquids are low in nitrogen, the aphids must consume large quantities of them to gain adequate nutrition. The aphids then excrete equally large quantities of waste, called honeydew, which is high in sugar content. Where there's sugar, there's bound to be ants. Some ants are so hungry for the honeydew, they'll actually milk the aphids to make them excrete it. The ants use their antennae to stroke the aphids, stimulating them to release the honeydew. Some aphid species have lost the ability to poop on their own, and now depend on their caretaker ants to milk them. Aphid herding ants make sure their cattle stay well fed and safe. When the host plant is depleted of nutrients, the ants carry their aphids to a new food source. If predatory insects or parasites attempt to harm their wards, the ants will defend them aggressively. Some honey ants even go so far as to destroy the eggs of known aphid predators like lady beetles. Some species of honey ants continue to care for their aphids during winter. The ants carry the aphid eggs home, and tuck them away in their nests for the winter months. They store the precious aphids where temperatures and humidity are optimal, and move them, as needed when conditions in the nest change. In spring, when the aphids hatch, the ants carry them to a host plant to feed. While it appears the ants are generous caretakers of their aphid charges, they've really got their own interests in mind. Aphids are almost always wingless, but certain environmental conditions will trigger them to develop wings. If the aphid population becomes too dense, or food sources decline, the winged aphids can fly to a new location. Not wanting to lose their food source, honey ants may prevent aphids from dispersing. Ants have been observed fearing the wings from aphids, before they can become airborne. A recent study has also shown that ants can use semi-chemicals to stop the aphids from developing wings, and to impede their ability to walk away.